I am suing my university because they have violated my rights to free speech. This all sort of started back in 2019. I got an email just saying, we're bringing this case against you before the professionalism committee. So initially it was just an Instagram post that had sort of set things off. And they scrolled through my whole page, said, oh, well, this is sexual. They give me a warning. Not even a year later, got another email. Same stuff. They just sent me pictures, didn't tell me what I did wrong. I asked them, okay, well, why can't I say these things? No response. And then they said they wanted to dismiss me from the program. I had to go through a whole appeal to our dean. I don't know if she necessarily agreed with me, but she allowed me to stay and said, hey, just try to keep your social media as private as possible. I'm not doing these things on the clock while at work. Once I'm off the clock in my home, leave me alone. <laughs> it's so important to me to just have my voice because people that look like me are often told, be quiet, stay in the back. I wanted to move forward and sue them so they know not to mess with me and don't do this again to anyone else. Now, you posted some stuff on the internet. Was it Instagram? It was Instagram uh, and Twitter that was brought to me by the board. Okay, and how did they get a hold of it? I still do not know to this day. Supposedly somebody took it to them. Correct. Okay, now, suffice it to say, it was edgy. In some people's opinion, yes. Well, yeah, it was lyrics, right? Yeah, some of what I posted to Twitter were song lyrics, and then to my Instagram, it's mostly photos, and they didn't I believe they did not like the way I was dressed, but no specifics were really given to me. This happened twice, right? They actually sent you a letter once and then the second time suspended you. Right, so to back up, I matriculated into the program in the fall of 2019. Right. Uh, and then all of a sudden, one week, I get a letter saying that I have to have a board meeting due to my unprofessional social media. Um, but no specifics were given as to what they found to be unprofessional. And everything was just very vague. Uh, so they did that and then let me go with a warning in 2019. So I'm thinking, okay, everything's okay. <laughs> Moving forward, we come back for our second year. And once again, I get an email saying, we have to have a professionalism committee meeting because reports were made against me due to my social media. And this time, they voted to expel me from the program. Uh, and so I did not accept that whatsoever. And I immediately started to research and see about how I could get that overturned. Then you get contacted by the dean on the appeal and say you're not suspended and Correct. you're back in. Correct. OK. Uh, but now you're filing a suit. Yes, just to protect myself um, because at that point, it was the second time in my second year that they had tried to impose restrictions against me and I didn't mm -hmm. want it to continue. So you think that this was censorship on their part? Absolutely. Despite whether a student had a problem with what I posted on social media, I believed the school should have stopped it there and not imposed such restrictions. If a student wanders onto my personal social media, they have the right to click off. It was not presented to them. So your position is professionals can be uh, professional and conduct themselves one way in one environment, and then when they're on their own, they can go do whatever they want to do. To a certain extent. I do believe we should still operate within the confines of the law and uphold professional standards as long as it is not invasive. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.